Hey everyone, I am hungry for something sweet to eat and I have some gingerbread chaffles in mind. How about you, you guys? It's gingerbread chaffle time. So you guys, let's get this day started. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hey, you guys, we're doing great on our sardines and we're doing the sardines for heart health. We're doing it for a month to see if we can help raise our, um, lower our glucose, raise our ketones and get the heart health with the healthy omega-3s, the DHA and the DEA. That is what we are doing. Harry had an enlarged spleen and we have the 17th is his appointment for his CT scan and his um, uh, with contrast. The doctor's holding back on the blood workup until all of this gets done and then we're gonna sit down and discuss. So we're trying to get Harry healthy i'm coming along i want to get healthy too you guys because we have not been eating fish like we're supposed to be eating and i don't know if we've got enough uh omega-3s or dha or dea but now that i'm eating sardines i have a whole new food group that i can go to and it's super quick super easy super delicious and i'm loving it and i'm creating i'm using um, it's funny because I'm searching all over the world because over in Europe they eat mackerel, herring, um, sardines. Gladys, our friend in Canada said there's actually like almost 11 or 12 different kinds of sardines that you can get. Fish subspecies in the sardine category. Sardines eat algae. They eat plankton. They eat plankton. So you guys, they don't have the mercury in them. They're not long lived, they're small fish, they have a short lifespan and they eat plankton. So you're not getting the mercury that you get from the large fish, the tunas, the albacore, the sea bass, the um, swordfish, because those fish eat other fish and the mercury builds up. So there's a lot of reasons why we're doing that. Plus the sardines make great shelf staple food for a low cost. It's a grab and go food. It really is. So that's what we're doing. We're really enjoying it. Last night we had our pizzas, our mini pizzas. We had eggs and sardines for the meal that you didn't get to see because you guys know sardines and eggs. That's what we had. But those mini pizzas on my English muffins were superb. Oh my gosh. Yes, they were. Go see that video if you want to know about that and go see the video. Harry will link both videos, the English muffin one, how to make them, because they're keto and carnivore. Yes, they are carnivore. They are. Or the other ones. See those at the end. But you guys, we had a delicious uh, keto crack yesterday too. We may have had a few too many of the candies while we were doing it. <laughs> They were absolutely amazing and delicious. And you guys were getting a discount on the candy. So Harry's going to put that down in the description below so you guys can go get. It's 15% off. Because And the code is. Yeah. What'd you say? Go ahead and say it. Well, they're, they're, they're pricey. Yes, they are cost more cost. They're higher priced. But they are the highest, as far as I'm concerned, artisan cottage industry made basically handcrafted chocolates in our industry that i am aware of in the ketogenic world and they are amazingly delicious what were you going to say here plus i think everybody kind of has a lot a, a certain kind of chocolate they really like yes and so it, it's all going to depend on them like if you and, like i think if you like really dark chocolate and the taste of dark chocolate I think that those uh, ones, the little, not the, not, not the big square one, but the, the other truffles. ones. The truffles. Yeah, the, tr the truffles. truffles. Yeah. You guys, that check out be... the website. There are a lot of things we did not taste. We did not share with you. So go check them out. We are have a 15% discount and there's a code. So it's down in the description below to get yours. And you guys, don't forget Austin, Texas. 2023 KetoCon, woo! 
through it. It's one of the largest ones. We are so excited. I can't wait to meet you guys. Get your tickets while you can. A hundred bucks a person for a three-day event. Come on, you guys. Yeah, that's cheap. That's going to be in the description below. Click on it. And I think Kim Halper, our admin, says it says when you click on the link 2022, but you can get your 2023 tickets there. So don't forget about that, too. I'm just trying to go over all of the wonderful things that we have for everybody. Don't forget, you guys. Keto Chow is having an early Black Friday sale as well. And you guys get that recipe box with a $200 order while supplies last. Supplies are limited with everything out there, as you guys know. So, and if you find a five pound egg white protein powder on sale, please let me know, okay? I have been stocking up. I stocked up, thank heavens, when it was $53. It ain't happening anymore. I think that's what a one and a half pound two pound bag costs nowadays. So I want to stock up because I am back into cooking and using them for baking and my breads and my buns and all the good things. So yes, yeah. I am on the lookout for it. Don't yes, forget dear. the Christmas gifts that we've shown them. They get people the mixer and the... Oh yes, the Ace Cool, don't forget the Ace Cool mixers, the Ace Cool um, electric kettle and more you guys we're trying to share stuff with you guys that we feel are great appliances that we can get you a discount for that's something i ask that's that's the priority can i get my my viewers a discount for those things anyway you guys and a knockoff that's what we really price well that's a, a discount yeah i know it's just i really am into that and good products yes that's just that's more important than anything to me okay here's the deal i'm starving we worked out today we did our blood workup this morning first thing then we went and worked out and then we came back took sally for a walk then we came back and did our blood workup so I'm gonna let Harry insert it. those so you guys will see those sometime in the video today, but we did our blood work up first thing in the morning. I didn't even have coffee. He wants to show that right now. Go like that. That's my edit signal. It's finger pricking time. It's finger pricking time. We are getting ready to go do our private coaching trainer at the gym. Harry's not a happy camper. He stayed up too late last night. He really did. We've got to change our time if we're going to be doing this because <clears throat> he needs time to wake up in the morning. Don't you dare. And Sally, sleep. Sally is barking at our gardeners that are here. So apologize for that. So, you guys, we'll come back after the gym and do our numbers once again, just to see the difference. 108. Okay, you guys, we'll see you after we work out today. We did not film our coach workout, but no, I will I can't film. Do that. Yeah, he can't do that because he's he's working out. Yeah. So we took Sally for a walk. So he'll insert that. It's trash day, you guys, and the trash truck's making all the noises, but. It is beautiful, isn't it? I would say it's in the 70s, wouldn't you? Oh yeah. Easy? Yep. Easy peasy, 70 degrees, and you guys, we exercised this morning, talked to the trainer about what we need to be doing as far as getting Harry stretched and moving so he doesn't have a uh, issue with his hip and such, so. I'm excited about that. Anyway, you guys, we're just going to take a walk, get Sally moving, moving our bodies, and we'll be back on the next segment. And this is the great news, you guys. Look at my GKI on Harry and I after working out today, right here. Okay, it's finger pricking time. Take two. This is our second. Where's my fingers? Second one. After moving our bodies, yes, indeed. 1.3 from working out. Yes, indeedy. Working the body. Working, working. 
I just don't go, do good first thing in the morning. I'm telling you. Point eight. Well, good. You went up from working your body. Move your body. Ooh, 91. That is awesome. I'm in GKI ketosis. I am jazzeroo. You're always in it. No, I'm not. Even if you get the same stuff I get, you still get into it. 92. 0.8. Coffee. Okay, go give me your, wait, your phone. What was I? One point what? I'll tell you in just a minute. Don't, the, it's the, don't, don't grab. It's the memory that goes first. Yes, it is. <laughs> I haven't had coffee. I'm running on empty. My fuel tank is empty. I am at 3.8 GKI ketosis, you guys. See what the difference is? You go work out, you come back. Your body's working, really working like a dream. <laughs> Harry, you're in a low level of GKI ketosis. Wow. Harry's at a 6.3. Yes, he is. So you guys, exercising works. In the next segment, then we get coffee. Yes, indeed. Lots to share. Sorry about that, you guys, because right now I'm plugging in the Quasinart because I am making gingerbread chaffles i am super this excited. was under my demand okay so here you guys go this sounds weird to me but we're gonna do it he wants gingerbread chaffles yep. eggs yep. and sardines yep but yes, i want the sardines does. like on the side he wants those like after he has his eggs and yeah. chaffles he yeah. says he's gonna eat those kind of a lunch by itself uh that's because i really like them he just wants it out of the can, and I agree. I don't want to ruin my gingerbread with sardines. I just don't think fish and gingerbread oh, go yeah. together. Okay, everybody get so a bark we're gonna bag. have ginger. We're gonna have the sardines. We'll just show a snippet that we opened them and put them on a plate so you guys can see that. So anyway, you guys, weight wise, I forgot to share that too. We both went up a little bit. Well, we kind of indulged. We indulged in the chocolate. Yes, we did. We indulged. Yes, we did. I went up two tenths. Harry went up four tenths. But I think that our weight changed because we did work out, came home. I am sore. If you see me moving my arms slowly, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm this uh, Coke cans. That's what I need. Two pound dumbbell weights. Sorry, but you got to start somewhere. Well, I'm starting at the bottom so I can only go up, right? Right? Okay, you guys, come back in the next segment when we have gingerbread chaffles. It's gingerbread chaffle time. I am so excited. Harry and I talked about it. We're just having gingerbread chaffles, plain and simple, and then he's going to do a coffee segment and make me something delicious, so you guys stay tuned for that. But we're going to have eggs with our sardines for dinner tonight. That's what we're going to do because I just don't want sardines to ruin my gingerbread taste because I want them separate. It's a separate separate taste palette but you guys I got gingerbread I'm so excited now if you cannot get if you do not have if you do not want to use keto chow gingerbread which I highly recommend any of their flavors as a chaffle yes I do use a plain or a vanilla protein powder of your choice one serving and then add the gingerbread spices to it and a little vanilla and you'll have your gingerbread chaffles too and the way I make these I like them this way when I am eating my sweet chaffles or flavored chaffles the best because I want them to be like a Belgian waffle and this works really really well for Harry and I oh yeah when when we do savory or where we're making chaffles um for uh, like buns or breads or, or something like that. We put the cheese down and do the eggs, the original recipe, right, with herbs and such like that. But whenever I do my uh, flavored chaffles, I always use cream cheese instead. This is hot, I just melted it. There's two ounces of cream cheese in there. I have a large Cuisinart that has four, four holders need, need for four waffles. Here. So, so I use an egg per holder. So I have four eggs in here. 
four, four eighths. So here's what I am doing. I always like mine sweeter, so I'm gonna put about six drops, and this one is English toffee. I find it adds the best flavor, such as gingerbread. Yeah. And actually, you guys, I, I put eight drops in. Make. Eight drops. Eight drops, eight drops. I have one quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of water. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna whip these real quick. I'm gonna put my uh, cream cheese in. It's been um, just softened. I like it softened. There it is. So I'm going to stir this up. Now this is where you put in your either your protein powder of your choice or your kinder towel. Oh man, I smell that. The battery died. We've got batteries coming, trust me. Now, see how nice and thick this is? See how thick the batter is? You can make it as thick or as thin as you want depending on your own personal preference. We like it like a nice thick pancake batter. Man, that smells delicious. Now, I love this spoon. You get it at the dollar store. It's the perfect size spoon to spoon in because it's just one level spoonful in each little pocket. This is pretty thick. This thickened up quickly, so you might you could add more water if you wanted to. Oops. And you close this down. And we're almost there, folks. Man, I can smell the gingerbread. Ooh. I know. I it know. is gonna be delicious. And you guys, we use Walden pancake syrup. You use the syrup that you like. Yes, this has sucralose, but you know what? This tastes, texture, pours like our favorite Aunt Jemima of old or the real maple syrup we used to get when we were vegan. So you do for you, you get the one you want and we'll do the one we want. But this for us is our favorite and we can get it at any supermarket that we go into. And we love it and it doesn't bother us at all. So that is what I am putting on with some butter. And of course, I'm topping it with a little bit of cinnamon, you guys. So come back when we have gingerbread chaffles. I smell gingerbread. Oh yeah, this, it smells so good in the here. The kitchen is heavenly. It's like I lit the gingerbread Yankee candle in here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's take a peek. It's like when I was a kid. You know, always reminds me of when I went to Stannis Village when I was a kid. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, 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 look at those. Mm. And you guys, we like the texture. These are like, just like a Belgium waffle, aren't they, Harry? Yep. I'm telling you, they are absolutely delicious. Yes, they are. And they're hotsy totsy. Hotsy totsy. Yes, indeed. I should have enough for two more. So I'm going to get those started. Let me see. every ounce of goodness. Oh yeah, man, don't waste any of that. Mmm, mmm, wow. Taste this, Harry. Okay. You can eat the pancake batter, or the waffle batter, mm. straight out of the thing. Oh yeah. It's like being a little kid. It is, doesn't it bring mm. back? Okay, let's put some butter on this, you guys. We're having this with butter, you can make um, a cream cheese frosting for these and really dress them up. You can add whipped cream to these and make them sweet. Make them your way, but oh my gosh, get these into your belly. Yes, 
indeed, I'm saying. And we use this recipe for the eggnog ones, for the uh, chocolate toffee ones. We use this for all of our sweet. This needs more butter. It does. Is that because you've decided that one's yours? I guess. I don't know. It just doesn't have enough butter on it. Yes, it does. It's melting. It's melting, dear. I know. Now, that, that's saying put your sure. syrup on there. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. You can heat your syrup if you want to. Get it in all the nooks and crannies of the waffle. It's like your sister only had to eat the holes. <laughs> I know when she was little. My mom would tell Lori, just eat the holes. She didn't like waffles. My sister didn't. I'm putting cinnamon on top. You don't have to. You could put nutmeg instead. You could put a little ginger on there. You could put whipped cream on top. But you guys, get some chaffles in your life. Gingerbread, of course. Anyway, you guys, we're going to eat these while the other ones are going, and then we each get another one. We get three each. I'm excited. Got to eat now, folks. Lord. Harry said he wants to wait till he has his third one. That's right. So I want them all. Want them all. Ooh, look at that. You guys notice how many beeps and buzzers and little lights you have around that? Yes. <laughs> you don't notice it until everything powers down or off and then everything's beeping and chirping. That's crazy. Oh man, that smells delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I remember when I was a little kid, uh, what's his, what was his name, Walter Cronkite, did a show called The Future or whatever it was. Right. And he said, someday your house will be full of lights and noises. Did he really? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You know what? He's right. Yes. Well, how about the house of the future at yeah. Disneyland with the microwave oven and yep. everything? The lights come on, you know? They had to take it down because we hit that note right away. I used to sit down in front of the black and white TV with my airplane that I got into. It wasn't real big. It was actually it wasn't. A, it was a thing you carried wood in, mm -hmm. and I stick my legs in it, and that was my airplane. Okay, well there you have and it. And I'd watch Walter Cron Cronkite and fly. Well, Harry's going to fly these right down his little throat oh, because you know he's it. all excited about them. So now. We are gotta eat now, you guys. Look at all the gingerbread. Sally gets her chaffles now. She's so excited, Jess. Sal, you want your chaffles? You want your chaffles? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, let's sit down. Let's wait for the chaffles. You want to? Sit? Oh yes, thank you. There you go, chaffle time. Mm Time for a five minute coffee break, wouldn't you say? But what I'm gonna make is, this was sent to us. Actually, there was two bottles sent to us and one of them we put in the, the rig outside and this one's for in the house. And what this is, is instant espresso. So we thought we'd try this out. Now, you can pretty much get this, I think just about everywhere in markets. You'd have to look around, you know, to see, but uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to crack this open. Take off the, the little lid here. There we go. Make, make it as tight as possible, you know. Okay. So there you go. This is really, I think I should, don't like the top of my head cut off, right? Uh, this is really kind of simple. We're gonna use these cups over here. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna put in these two cups and we're gonna use this as our sweetener. Now I really don't have too much to go by. The instructions are kind of vague. I think it's basically uh, do per taste, right? So I'm gonna do what I usually do with an instant for these. And I take a pretty good amount, see? And these are the little spoons that that are basically for uh, espresso or 
cappuccino. And I'm going to put two, because one's for me and one's for Wendy. Each one, right? There. Then I'm going to put three drops of, yeah, that's what you want, three drops, right? Yes, please. Of, of English toffee into each one. Then we're going to... Well, make it four, she says. All right, there you go. There's four, right? Then I'm going to take my hot water, which I have brewing over to the side, and I'm going to fill these up. Not all the way, just partial. Oops. Too far. It's all right. That's mine, anyways. Um, so, but plus, we're gonna use some. We're gonna we're gonna uh, do ourselves a little crema today. So I've got this going. And away it goes. It's buzzing away. And you let it go until the light turns off. Now I have it on the highest setting, which is basically makes it the most whipped. You know, uh, it really whips up the cream. And all you do is you pour some cream into here, and you turn this thing on, and away it goes. And you go until the light turns off. You know, if you want more, just go ahead and hit the button again. So let's see how it comes out. Finished. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Look at how nice and whipped that is. And it's also very warm because this also warms it up at the same time. So let's pour it in. Oh, doesn't that look nice? Yeah. Nice. Oops. Yeah. Okay, then all you do is you stir it up. And I don't want to stir it too much because I don't want to disturb the cream on top. And I would suggest you guys don't do like me and stir it up. After you pour the cream in it, stir it up before. All right, let's see how it tastes. Yeah, look at that. Mm -mm, I can't tilt it too too far, you know, it'll be everywhere. But let's give it a taste. I've never had this kind, so we're gonna find out. Ho, 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 This is really good. Oh, yeah. So, here it is. So, here's the type we got. If you guys like to go try it out, see if you can find it your local store. Give it a try. It's a really easy way to have some, you know, a cappuccino. Um, you know. Or espresso, because it is it is instant espresso, pretty much. So if you wanted a you know if you wanted a, a a lot harder kick, you can use one of the small one of its cousins, the small ones, or a baby glass. Put the same amount in there, pour some water in there, mix that thing up, and you're good to go. <laughs> and so okay, so I'm gonna finish up here. I'm gonna take my take a take it into Wendy. And we can see how she likes it. Okay? Mm. Let's go. Here you go. Ooh, 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 let me put my phone down. Wait a minute. You want me to just set this down? No, I'm going to go ahead and You got it? it? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Mm, look at that. I know, man. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, woo. <laughs> Ooh, just a spoon. Watch out for my book. Oh man, let's give this a taste test, shall we? Yeah, try it out. Let me know what you think. Did you mix it? I I taste it with a spoon. Okay. What do you think? Ooh. Yeah. This is delicious. It's, really it's super well. easy too. Yeah. We'll take one of those bottles in our meter with us. Yep. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially after that gingerbread chaffle, man. So if you guys don't want to go to, through all the you know the problems and the rituals, which I am really into when it comes to the coffee thing, and you just want to make it really quick, go pick yourself up a, a, a bottle of some of the instant espresso mix. Look around in the coffee section. You'll probably see them up on the top shelf usually, top or second. The thing but, about stuff like that is if you're a camper... You're a tent camper. Mm -hmm. You can just, and you still want the luxury of having it a good glass of espresso right. or cappuccino or something. That's the best way to do it. Oh, but yeah. man, oh, you guys, okay. I'm loving it. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy your uh, five minute coffee break. I am. How about you? And yes, you guys, she drinks coffee. She's drank coffee for the whole time. Give her, her a little bit. Her whole life, man. Since she's been with us anyways, right? Here you go. Here's your coffee. Five-minute coffee break. break. See you guys later. What do you think? I almost forgot. You guys, it's Taco Tuesday. Yes, indeed. But... Ours is Taco Tuesday with a twist because what are we using for our meat? We're having fish tacos, of course, and we're using sardines. So you guys, come along. This is gonna be delicious, trust me. So here we have our setup station for our tacos. We have got Egg Life Southwest Wraps. We've got Harry's um, sardines, my sardines. I've got some a cabbage. I've got cheeses, sour cream, La Victoria Salsa Brava and some seasoning salt. I have half of a small dinky winky avocado on my plate that already has garlic and onion powder on it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build them and then we're just going to nuke them. It's super easy, super simple to do you guys. And then we'll eat the leftovers, anything that's left. Or we'll have more, but this is what fits on the plate. So this is how we're doing it. I'm super excited. Super. You guys, I used to make fish tacos. Oh, they were when good. we lived yeah. in California with Todd, and it was it was excellent. It was absolutely excellent. So I'm gonna take Harry's. I'm gonna get him some fish. I'm gonna break it up so that it it comes nicely. And whatever you put on your tacos, you can uh, deep fry these shells. Um, whatever shell you use, you can make it in a bowl. Um, it's gonna be super delicious. Super heart healthy. Yes, and delicious. There's your, there's your fish, it's perfect, look at that. Man, super heart healthy and delicious. What did I do wrong now? Harry's mad at me. Yes, he is. No, not myself. Why? Because I screwed up. That's okay. Well, that's yours. I'm going to make it. I'm going to put... So, this is how you build it. You put a little bit of cheese on here, right? And then you nuke this. Now, do you want your cabbage nuked too? No. Or do you want your cabbage crispy? Yes. Do you want sour cream melted on that? Yes. I'm going to put a little bit of yeah, a little um, hot, sauce. hot sauce and sour cream little like sour we used cream. to do. Yep. This is brand new. There. Oh, I'm already getting stronger. You guys, if you don't care for sardines, use the fish of your choice, but it's a very good taco. And if you don't want fish at all, you can't eat fish, you're allergic to fish, make yourself some hamburger or chicken tacos. Super easy, super delicious. They really are. Give a little bit of sour cream on there. That's going to melt over the top very nicely. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put these into the microwave oven and just heat them. 30 seconds while I make mine. You can take your um, sardines the night before 
put them in a, in a bowl or a container that has a lid, throw some jalapenos in there and marinate them overnight. You can get the spicy jalapeno um, ones as well, right? You can get the different flavored ones. I just happen to have plain. Sally's Which right I think there. it's great for a base. You can I think so, because want. then you can do whatever you want. Mm. Absolutely do whatever you want to them. Now on mine, I'm adding some avocado. I love avocado. Harry cannot eat avocado. He's allergic. He says he gets fur tongue. Well, I have the problem with bananas, too. Mm -hmm. and he wal does. And walnuts, isn't it? Yep. You used to be able to eat more bananas. Yeah, it's gotten Avocados was pretty quick. You can have them if, if it's an occasional thing and like you just have like a little bit on a plate or something, but you can't have like a dip dips of guacamole. No. Then you start getting the fur tongue. Mm -hmm. well, I get, uh, I get uh, canker sores too. Which, and you get instant canker sores yeah. when you eat um, walnuts yep. from the tannins. Right there, just pops up. While Harry was changing the battery, I put mine in, brought his out, and now I'm just going to add just a little bit to give it some crunch. Yep. Just enough to give it some crunch. And just Perfect. a dinky winky little bit more salsa onto the to the cabbage. And let me get mine. I invited my whole family over for fish tacos in California and they thought I was crazy and yeah. they all loved it. Yep, they were like all surprised. My dad was specifically yeah. because he was born and raised in Pascagoula, Mississippi and never heard of fish tacos in his life, right? So there you go, there you have it. It's Taco Tuesday, fish tacos to be specific you guys, but don't those look delicious? Oh yeah. Anyway you guys, we'll be back in the next segment, but I've got to have my fish tacos now. We are back. Harry has something to say. Yeah, I was uh, really kind of amazed by the tacos. And if you guys were looking at us making like a, <laughs> a taco out of sardines, you're probably going, oh my gosh, you know, it's like, um, I was really surprised. I really liked it. You know, all I ever thought of sardines was eating them out of a can, you know, and, but man, this is... She's really turning my head about sardines because they take on a different flavor with whatever you put in them and it kind of really, it brings the flavor out. It's kind of weird. Well, yeah. I think it's great because when we did just an egg fast yeah. or a beef fast, we got tired very quickly. Mm -hmm. People get tired of eggs. People get yeah, tired of do. beef. The way I have been cooking my sardines, it has changed the flavor totally and texture. These, I never... Okay, yeah, truth, I'm, I'm telling the truth. When I said I would do sardines for 30 days, I thought I wouldn't get past the first can. Yeah. That I wasn't going to be able to do it. That it was going to be a complete fail. I think this is day 11, right? I know, I'm trying to think about that too. Is it day 11 or day 12? Well, you'll know. We'll, yeah, put, it on the, we'll put it on this one because yeah. we started before November 1st. Right. We started a few days beforehand. I never in a million years thought I could eat sardines every single day and make them taste good delicious yeah that, that's, I'm yeah. talking delicious. if you like how peppered the um, pickled jalapenos uh -huh. pickle your sardines and some put them all on them overnight oh yeah it will add it to I a whole new level really, oh my goodness. take your sardines put a tablespoon of salsa on each one yeah. marinate them overnight pico de gallo overnight you guys I am amazed at myself. I really am. But I've been looking at a lot of international um, recipes. Right. And there are so many out there that have fish. 
because fish is heart healthy. Anyway, you guys, I just yeah. wanted to share that because Harry's like, I have to tell everybody yeah, because those were absolutely delicious. I was amazed again. Again, I was amazed. And the crunch with the cabbage. Because it wasn't anything that I was expecting. No. I, thought, I didn't think, again, I didn't think, I was, I was kind of like very leery of these. Let's put it that way. Yeah. The only thing, reason I went along with it because Wendy used to make these uh, fish tacos back when, you know. They were deep fried pieces though. Yeah, they were deep fried halibut, wasn't no, it? No, uh, cod. Cod. And they were great. And the only reason I went along with this was because, okay, well, maybe they'll taste something like that. Yeah. They were soft wow. shelled. They were flour tortillas. They, cabbage is key. The crunch of the cabbage is awesome. Yeah. You don't need them deep fried. You don't need them hard and crunchy, but they were so good. You Great guys. payoff, man. I was amazed. Yeah. Well, anyway. you guys, we're going to go ahead and close out the video for today. So you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell. Give us a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. Good night, everyone. It was a win-win. Sally ate her sardines. So, yeah, she ate them She all. was bugging us so badly that she left. Sally, come on. Boy, I get more sardines. Can you say good night? Good girl. Good girl. Would you like some cheese with that? Cheese too? Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey. Ooh. I'm gonna grab too much. <laughs> she gets less. We'll take it. She gets less meat yeah. tonight. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah, that goes with her sardines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. She had coffee. So now she's getting cheese. Boy. Yeah, really, really.